good morning children how are you i hope you are all enjoying a good health today okay today we are doing a new portion that is the nouns a new chapter chapter 2 nouns okay i shall read certain sentences and just to follow when i read it Albert Einstein was a great scientist. Yes, Albert Einstein, name of a great person. The mouse is afraid of the cat. Yeah, it's an animal, a mouse. Our air cooler is not working. A home appliance, a air cooler. So you can say it's a thing. The king's army attacked the enemy. army a group of soldiers gold is used to make ornaments a matter or a material with which uh, we make ornaments honesty is the best policy honesty love sincerity yeah it is an abstract noun or it is a virtue so we see albert einstein the mouse air cola army gold honesty all these are nouns but they are different from one another see look at the board nouns they are nouns are categorized as proper nouns common nouns collective nouns material nouns and abstract nouns once again proper nouns common nouns collective nouns material nouns and abstract nouns okay what is meant by proper nouns names of a particular person i told you a minute back albert einstein name of a particular person so it is a proper noun name of persons places things are called proper nouns name of things when i say silver it is a thing when i say gold it's a thing when i say something about the place place london rani vada sherikara tiruvananthapuram so name of place so name of a person name of a place name of a thing can uh, can be named as proper nouns proper nouns for example in your text it is given persons apj abdul kalam name of a person ms dhoni priyanka chopra all these are names of persons then place jammu kashmir Thailand, England, London, Tiruvannathapuram. Yes, things. The Times of India, Mona Lisa, Malayal Manorama, bench, desk, umbrella. All these are things. Then days and months. July, December, Sunday. All these are names of the days and month. Then monuments. For example, Kutub Minar, Buckingham Palace, all these are, or the pyramids, they are, yes, proper nouns. Rivers and mountains, Nile, the Ganges, the Brahmaputra, all these names of the rivers or mountains, they are proper because there is only one Ganges, there is only one Himalayas, there is only one Alps, so they are proper nouns. Remember. proper nouns always begin with a capital letter they can be used as the subject or an object in a sentence yeah it can be this proper noun can be the subject of a sentence at the same time it can be the object of a sentence number and gender of proper noun cannot be changed though we can say sundays mondays and so yeah uh, remember that we cannot uh, i mean change the um, uh, uh, number and gender of nouns again not be changed 
uh, we can say Sundays, Mondays, and uh, and like that only. Then next category is next one is um, common noun. So we have already seen what is meant by proper noun. The next one is common noun. Common nouns are the names given in common to persons, common to places, and common to things of the same kind. Example: persons, man. Boy, girl, women, etc. All these are uh, persons. Then places, dispensary, hospital, playground, school, city, market. These are uh, places. Then things, box, car, television, bench, desk, chair. Then animal, fox, leopard, snake, and mullet, cow. All these are names of animals. Professionals, teacher, nurse, doctor, engineer, scientist, electrician, plumber. Okay, they are common nouns. Then next one is uh, collective nouns. Collective nouns are words used to name collections of a group of persons, places, and things. A group of persons together, we uh, um, together is named as collective noun for example crew in a ship in the aircraft you see a number of people are walking they they help the passengers they are all together called crew members so so crew it is taken as a collective noun bunch yeah many uh, different keys are there and we can say bunch of keys bunch of grapes then jewelry then comes jury of judges, then flock of uh, sheep, then herd of cattle, crowd, swarm, all these are, yes, collective nouns. Crew, bunch, jury, herd, flock, crowd, swarm. Then coming to uh, material nouns. These are the names of materials or substances which different things are made of. Yeah, the names of material that is called material nouns with which we make things. For example, floor, so with which we make chapati or parotta. So, floor, cement, yeah, it's a material, iron, steel, wood. So, these are. Uh, materials with which we make things and they are called material nouns then remember there are no plural form of material we don't say flows we cannot say cements no plural form only singular form then abstract noun what is meant by abstract noun we know that we can understand that it is something or it, it there is uh, something that we cannot see we cannot touch we cannot into it but at the same time we can understand that it is there for example love sincerity determination can you show love can you just take love as we take uh, i mean some sugar can you bring some sincerity we cannot bring but we can understand what it is so it is an abstract thing that we cannot touch, we cannot see, we cannot, uh, uh, I mean, uh, hear. So that is called abstract nouns. For example, yeah, abstract nouns are the names of ideas. Yeah, see, remember, feelings, qualities, actions, which can neither be seen nor touched. We cannot see. Honesty, it's an abstract noun. Can you see honesty? No. You can see a bench, you can see a bag, you can see the fan, you can see a home, you can see a cow. But we know what, it is, what is meant by sincerity, but we, we can't see, we cannot touch. So it is called abstract. They remain as abstract. They are not concrete things. They are abstract things. That's why they are called abstract nouns. Grief, wisdom, construction, bitterness, pleasure, humility. Yeah. Can you bring some humility? No. It is a virtue. It is an abstract noun. 
Remember, abstract nouns are generally treated as singular. So generally, abstract nouns are treated as plural. They have no plural form. Today, you have an exercise. Yeah, do the exercise at home. Yeah, you will get the sheet today itself. Exercise number one: Identify the kind of the nouns in italics in the following sentences. See whether they are uh, common noun, material noun, abstract noun. Or yeah, abstract noun or collective noun. My father is a businessman. Teachers expect obedience from their students. There was water all around. The cows were grazing in herds. The ground is green with the grass. Pieces of bread were thrown all over the courtyard. An infant lives only on milk. No place on the earth is without air. To run away from problems so gradually. All the ounce in the park were frauds. So, second exercise is there are few dash in the class today. Dr. Dash was a great educationalist. We cannot live without dash and water. Children are playing dash in the playground. There should not be any dash in the class. We watch movies for dash. There are only three dash in my pocket. It is not heavier than dash. The hunter trapped some dash in his net. The dash of K is missing. So, find out the answer yourself and do the exercise at home. Okay. I hope you have understood today's portions well. Go through the pages, then read it well, do the exercise, take care of your health. Okay? We will meet the next class. Okay, thank you.